Hi, I'm Craig, and this is Beers with the Band, and uh, we're hanging out with the House vs. Hurricane today. How you going? Good. How's it going? Great. Yeah? So we got Josh and Chris. Chris. And, uh, yeah, I guess the first question is, you guys are now, it, it, it's great to see you guys back on tour. It's great to see House vs. Hurricane doing what they're doing. Um, is this going to be a thing that's going to continue, or <laughs> no. is, is this a thing that it's just going to be a once-off just to get all the fans excited and then you're just going to shut their dreams down? Yeah, just a once-off. Yeah? Um, we never got to play Sydney in the end, like when we broke up, so this is kind of... The last hurrah. And, yeah, coming up and saying good day. Yeah. And, and see ya. And then you're leaving it at that? Yeah, that's it. Well, can you explain what it's like to go on tour with uh, House First Hurricane? Can you explain what it's like from day one to the end date of tour, uh, what it's like being on tour? Just party. It's, yeah? It's just all about mates. Like, well, you got your waters. You guys sound like you're partying straight, <laughs> like, hard now. As long as it's now. spring, not sparkling. <laughs> sparkling can rack off. <laughs> No, but what was it like? I guess it's good on, on day one meeting everybody, like all catching up with everybody. Yeah, but then... a lot of us still see each other all the time. Like Dan and Riz work together um, in Adelaide, and me and Pooh do do a fair bit of music afterwards. Yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. It's just mates hanging out. Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. Come, I guess like because I've seen it from I've text for the band and I've filled in for the band. Uh, it really is just you come together and you just with your best mates. Yeah. And we just literally just pay everyone out when they can't hear us and <laughs> hang out with ourselves and just laugh at ourselves, basically. Eat good food, write each other off all day. Do you guys uh, <laughs> do you guys have any rules on tour? Like, do you um, have any, like, you can't... Because if you're staying in a hotel and you're sharing bathrooms... Hotel? What do you think? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or if you're staying anywhere with a bathroom that you have to share, do you have any rules where you can't... Do you think certain things or we just... We have two rules. One one rule is don't fuck with each other when you're sleeping. What do you mean by Oh, okay. Like, so no, jack, asleep, no jackass shit. Like, yeah. you can't just punch someone while they're sleeping. We want to sleep. We want to be sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like, sleeping seriously. So, time. number one, don't fuck with House of Hurricane okay when they're sleeping. Yeah. Um, <laughs> our tour manager did it once and he just got fucking smashed. So. <laughs> and he would um, never do it again. Yeah. And then, uh, I guess the other thing is just respect whoever's house we're staying at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like don't don't break each other's stuff. Yeah, we've got like pretty solid places to stay everywhere. Now, yeah, so yeah. It's like, well, we I know just, we just stay with mates all the time. Yeah, so I met I met Aaron. Is it Aaron that you guys used to stay with up in Coffs Harbour or Newcastle? Yeah, yeah, uh, two a month. Yeah, two a yeah. month. That's right. Yeah, yeah two a month. <laughs> yeah, she she seems lovely. So you guys just do that in every city. You guys are just yeah, crashing people's houses. And yeah, we just got mates we stay with. We got two so, a month. A lot of places actually. Yeah, like Birch in Brisbane. Yeah, we got a lot of different two a months. Sick. take care of us so it's good um, yeah it's just from 8 or 9 years of touring you meet people and yeah. they just form a bond with them and yeah, help each other out yeah. do you remember the best gig that you've ever played my favourite would have been Manning Bar 2009 um, it was like our first proper headline tour Manning and, Bar Sydney yep yeah. and um, we didn't know what to best expect best venue in Australia is it still oh, it's pretty sick <laughs> is it still going yeah I think they're in the drive. you heard it here first <laughs> no yeah um no, we did a, it was off our EP, and we kind of didn't know what to expect because we were doing a headline run, and all the shows had done pretty well. And Nazareth Bay was supporting, which is Dan's old band, so he yeah. was on the tour. And the venue just kind of kept filling and kept filling, and then it sold out, and we were like, this is mental. Wow. And like, we had a few friends there that were like, we've never seen this happen off an EP. This yeah. is insane. And then it was all downhill from there. But that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it just it skyrocketed really early yeah. days. And then, and then we spent five years being like, how good was that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was pretty fun. And then like, I yeah. mean, there's always those cool like little shows. Like we did a lot of little European shows last year for the Fallen Dreams and stuff. And yeah. Tiny ass venues that were just like, Fun, like. Well, Crooked Teeth was, was big, like that, yeah. that that took off, that was huge. Yeah, it was our best selling record. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, the scene's changed now too. Like, a lot of there's a lot of good bands um, competing with each other and stuff, um, which isn't a bad thing. No. But yeah, the I guess ticket prices are too high. What's your point? Like, you know, no. ticket prices are too high, kids can't afford to go all the shows anymore, yeah. so you've got to be really careful with how you sort of market the shows, I guess, yeah. you know? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so working in radio, you should know to turn your phone on silent. But yeah, that's sorry, fine, guys. That's I got fine. some people asking. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches be cray cray. Rookie, yeah. rookie error. Yeah. No, Stop so, texting me, Dawson. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the worst uh, annoying wise in House vs. Hurricane? 
Um, like, who gives you the absolute shit? Midge. Yeah, I'll tell the manager as a pain in the ass. Yeah? Yeah. He's a legend. <laughs> what do you do, though? Just be uptight and whinge all the time. I have the flu. He's actually, he's actually been... <laughs> living, I have the flu! He's actually been in Japan for a couple of years now, right? Yeah, he's, he's getting shot out of a cannon. He's in society. Sydney today, so we see him for the first no time in a few years yeah. today. He's on the doors of the princess, though. So if he, oh. if he has to pay to get in, it's because he couldn't figure out his name. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you you about honestly put him down as princess. Yeah, yeah. the oh, princess, princess, the princess um, plus one. We just got him princess Midge. Just uh, a bit soft. Well, so he got the flu, which gave you the shits. What <laughs> gave us the flu as well? And, and he the gave, shits. gave you guys the flu. And, the shits. and he whinged a lot. But is that because you guys made him drive majority of the time? Or no, I think it's because we just rode him off all the time. Yeah. No, yeah. I like Mitch. Well, I want to bash Mitch the whole time. No, he means well. Yeah, he's you've just, you've just got to pay out the tour you've manager. You've got to have one person in the group that cops it. Yeah. And so yeah. he was the guy that... Yeah, but I mean, now in terms of the band, we all just give it to each other. Right? Yeah. So, it's yep. awesome. I think Dan and Riz together are two of the most brutal <laughs> humans in, in anywhere. In any situation, they will just... Tear someone to shreds yeah, right in front of them. They don't care. It's awesome. Like if they're tired or moody, or they'll just do no, it regardless. The time. If, just... bored. <laughs> if someone does something slightly wrong, yeah. they will just hound them. Yeah, it's good. It's a good attitude. To have. Is, of course, it <laughs> is. You've got to break the spirits. <laughs> it's kind of breaking the ice in a way as well, because yeah. that's how then you, exactly. you meet that's someone. How you become friends. And then you take uh, it the wrong you're way, you're ripping you know them. Dick. Yeah, yeah, and then you don't bother with them anymore. No, fuck that guy. They can't handle it. Well, okay, um, serious question. Who would win out of a street fight between Nicki Minaj and Iggy Azalea? Iggy. No, Nicki. Nicki? Nicki, you reckon? Yeah, right? Anaconda, Nikki be don't! Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Iggy doesn't have the Anaconda, though. Yeah, but Iggy's she's pretty ghetto as well. Yeah, yeah no. Nicki's got all that junk in her trunk. It's going to drag her down in the fight. How do you reckon it would go down? Do you reckon it would go down like knockout, or do you reckon one would give up? Oh, it'd be knockout. Those two yeah? would go for yeah, the yeah. They wouldn't they Neither would, would give stop? up. Yeah, neither yeah. would give up. It's a tough call. So Nikki or Nikki because of the black. I'm, I'm voting Nikki. The yeah. black. Yeah. <laughs> We're giving it. <laughs> yeah. Nikki's Australian. Yeah. Yeah. She ain't got nothing on Nikki. We do like fighting. Look at Russell Crowe. He's a Kiwi, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so so th this is what House vs Hurricane's doing. They're doing the Panthers show that was last night. Yeah. They're doing the Lair tonight. Then you got Hot Damn tomorrow night. Yeah. yeah. And we then we're never gonna hear. Come out at night, right? Yeah. We come out at night. night. It's we come out at night, yeah. Hot Sam with a different name. Yeah. So then after this, we're never going to hear House vs. Hurricanes again? Or do well, you, guys... you can put it on the CD if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that is up to me if I want to Spotify or put it on the CD. Spotify, we'll get a royalty out of that. Yeah, yeah. A couple of cents a year. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Mate. We're never listening to Spotify again. We don't want to no, no. anybody. Nah. No, nah. So we're not going to hear it? Or like, are you guys, is there going to be anything? Nah. I, I'd like to say that band. I'm in a different band. Yeah. You're in Dream on Dream, huh? Yeah. Poots is writing some really metal stuff that is going to be insane. Insane. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's fast and it's heavy and it's awesome. So keep an eye out for it. I'm not going to say names because I don't know if you want to. You don't have a name? We do, but it's not. It's not announced. It's not, it's not ready to be released yet. When the are you going to release ready. it? The world's not ready. Um, <laughs> next year. Okay. He's in a band called Strickland. We've just recorded. Yeah, fucking sick. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Sweet. Well, did you want to say anything about that? Uh, check it out, Strickland. You can go to Facebook, whatever. It's pretty uh, post punky. It's post punk. Fun. Yeah, post punk. It's What's post punk? Fun. I honestly it's, have never heard post punk. Well, it's like it's punk. kind of a blend of it's punk rock and hardcore. pop punk. Yeah, is what I would like to think. But of. with oh, pretty oh, masculine yeah. vocals. It's yeah, nice yeah, vocals. yeah. Like it's good. story so far. Yeah, yeah mixed between like story so far and yeah. Yeah, that, that sort of scene. That yeah. style, Definitely. That style, all that genre, I think, is kind of coming up these yeah. days. Yeah. In my, or maybe it's just because the mates that I'm hanging out with are, are getting right into it. No, people just realise that pop punk's awesome again. Yeah. yeah, pop punk should have never gone away. Yeah, it should never have gone away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank check out Dreamer, choose. check out this new band that you don't know the name of yet, but keep an eye out. You're going to be busy. Yeah. Busy guy, he's a bit of an entrepreneur as well. <laughs> Is he? He's creating some websites, oh, gearflitch.com, don't even worry about oh, it. Oh, don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> She's not released yet. That's it. That's it. <laughs> we'll tick that one. Well, thank you guys very much for hanging out. We really right, appreciate man. the time. Cheers, man. And we can't wait to rock out with you guys later on. Oh. I'm hanging out with House Boss Hurricane, and we're about to do a handstand race. Biatch! Here we go. Fuck yeah. Uh, Fucking two, fucking one, fucking go. Here we 
Nice loser. Huh? I'm all worn out now. Oh. <laughs> oh.